Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So very quick, we just put gas today. We're in the Miata, and uh, by the title of this video, you already know that we're going to see something pretty special. And uh, yeah, so I can't wait. We're about to leave right now, and uh, we should be there in 20 minutes. But guess what? You don't have to make the trip with me because I'm gonna make it. One, two, three. Alright guys, so this is the heart of the beast. This is an LX2 MX5 and that is that is so badass. That is so cool that you had Yeah, yeah those are the yeah, the one that came in the GTO. The one that yeah, yeah. those look familiar. I mean I, yeah, yeah. I was like and look how clean. I wanna I am I'm, I'm trying to catch as much detail as possible because tell me about this radiator. That's the one you find on any you know um, older car they want to do a, uh, a swap VP, uh, VA okay it's a Griffin radiator it looks uh, it, it looks solid very yeah. thick yeah. so it's yeah. gonna it's, help it's with the temperature really radiator and it's used on any car that you know an older car that want to do a VA swap absolutely there we go that that is very what motor mounts do you use for this car uh, those you can go those are uh, VA roasters it's the same as the uh, subframe okay you get the actual kit on the box and, uh, and you have long tube headers with yep, this yep three okay. inches three inch long yep. tube header Were you, are you running fit. an x pipe or h pipe it's actually a uh, muffler that has an x pipe inside okay. like a chamber got you it's a it's a gibson exhaust awesome is this a stock intake for the that's the one for gto for the gto yep. okay so you have a filter I, I tried to use as many as i could for gto now tell me and tell the audience what do you do with the cables because i don't see no cables here <laughs> and it must have been a lot yeah, of work to I, to, to hit the cables i tried to hide the cables as much as i could okay. actually running the uh the cables through the firewall you can see that okay that's the uh, fuel line cables Okay. Uh, headlight cables are on the, the uh, fenders, so. Awesome, awesome. That took my time off, you know, basically on the uh, on the engine compartment, as you can see. Excellent. This is so clean. I, I mean, I could literally eat my food right here. Serve it to me, please, some LS2 power. And, and you, you said we have a cam? We're dealing yeah, with a cam a, here? Yeah, it's a Texas Speed cam. Uh, okay. 232, 234, and a 600 Okay. Lift. Um, Stock heads, right? Yes, stock heads. Um, stock bottom stock end. Stock bottom end. Um, so it's, it's just a refresh build because uh, okay. I don't know if I told you the uh, when I bought the car, I just wanted to grab the uh, drivetrain and just put it in the Miata, but it turns out the engine was blown, so I had to. Gotcha. So you had to rebuild. Send it to a machine shop and, and then it fixed. I love these lights here. It's a show car here. Yeah, people want to see the engine bay. Absolutely. That's that's what you are here for. I mean, this is. And then we're dealing with a what T56 from from yeah, the GTO. Yeah, it's a T56 on the uh, GTO. Very, those transmissions are very similar. Yeah, they're 
They came on the on the Viper, they came on the CO6, they came on the GTO, and they came on the O3 and O4 Cobra. Yep. So these transmissions are bulletproof. You can see six speed, and this interior is so clean, guys. It's, I mean, this this whole car is so clean. I love the wheels. What type of wheels do you have? Those you? are the, um, I don't exactly know the brands, but you can, oh, the 949 Racing from, um, Fly Miata. Sticky tires? No, they're just Hankook's uh, 245. Do they hook? Oh, I, know, yeah. I know you haven't. Yeah, they, they help a little bit. Um, okay. I mean, you're not going to be able to what, put all the power what, on the um, what, um, Tell me a little bit about the, the rear diff. It's a uh, 8.84 okay. out of the uh, Lincoln Mark 8. Okay. Yeah, and it has a, um, a posy with clutch around the Cobra. Excellent. So it has a, basically a Cobra. Gotcha. And what type of gearing uh, do uh, you have? 373s. 373s, yep. okay. Awesome, awesome. Let's take a look at the underneath of the car a little yeah, bit. I wish I can show you the exhaust, but yeah. it's really, really hard. It's, the car is just so low. You can and, actually uh, show the diff from here if you want. Yeah, definitely. Let's go for it. It's right there. Okay, you yeah. You can see the core lowers. Awesome. And that's the exhaust in the middle. And you did all this work yourself? Yep. And that is amazing. The only thing that I purchased was the uh, subframe from uh, Fly and Miata. Sorry, uh, VA Roasters. This is this is amazing. This is this is a lot of work. This is a lot. This is years and years of you know getting everything together, the whole plan. A lot of homework. And you have to do a lot of research. A lot of homework. Right? A lot of researching, and but the final product is. LS2 Miata or VA Miata. Let's just say oh, we cannot go fast, guys. It's raining, so it's just wow. And your speedo works. Yeah, everything works. Right? Everything works. Wow. So what we're dealing with? This is a GTO engine and a GTO transmission. So this is actually a T56. Yep. So how many years did it take you to build this car? About 1.5. About 1.5. Okay, and you did every, all the work yourself. Yeah, guys, you you gotta see how clean this this motor is. An old video might not do justice of how clean this car is. It's just. Oh my God. This this car is truly an experience. This car, it's. So what do you have here? What are these gauges for? It's a it's a Bluetooth connection to okay. the iPad. It goes into the. Um, okay, so that way, can you tune it through there? No, it's just for like aesthetics. Okay. So I can see the temperature. The, okay, so uh, it's usable though. Speed, yeah. It's I can check the codes. Okay. But no tunes. Okay. I love the shifter. This is it's it's just crazy being on a Miata with the. I mean, you don't. You hear this? This is like a 1965 uh, Cobra. You know, like those old Cobras. Like yeah. The Shelby. It's Shelby a Cobra. modern Cobra. Absolutely. And then you, we're dealing with what? What do you say? Because it has a cam, right? Yeah, it's about I won't say 400 to the wire tires, maybe. 400 to the tire. Yeah. That's insane. to the flywheel. It's maybe four. Four seventy. Seventy four eighty. That's insane. That's insane for a Miata. Especially the tour. Yeah, it's a what, 2,500 pounds? Yeah, with the motor, but originally it was what, 23? Yeah. And let's say the well, LS. The, the LS2 is like another 120 pounds more. 120 pounds? Yeah. So yeah, let's say 2,450. And this is, oh my god. It just sounds so good. Look at that. That's a radio what I have here. 
this exhaust is a radio. That's all you need. And, and oh, believe me, this is a fast car. This is, I mean, this thing will give the gap to my Cobra all day. Just when it's power, tuned, it's not yeah, tuned yet. The power to weight ratio, it's something, I mean, it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. It's short shifting the car. And it will, it will. My goodness. It's a, it's a GTO with extreme weight reduction. Yeah. This is what it is. A cam. A cam GTO. Imagine that. On a really. wrap this video up and I want to thank Mike Mike Anytime, thank you dude. thank you thank you so much for allowing me allowing you guys to come here to to check out this beauty and I was telling the audience that we have a Shelby a 350 that it's another video right another video. that's another video yeah. for another day and uh, yeah that down this one is special so I love that he has four and then he has a Mazda with one of the baddest, you know, most swappable uh, engines that you could get, which is the LS um, family. So it's pretty awesome. It, this is pretty awesome. Thank you, Mike. And all right, guys. So uh, I guess I'll catch you on the next one.